Alright, well there you can see my little ornament hanging in the tree. Looks great. Alright, well today for the Christmas ornament challenge or the holiday ornament challenge, I am going to take a piece of oak like this and turn it into a baseball bat that looks like this. So if you're interested in watching me do that, it's a quick little fun wood turning project. Stick around. Alright, today we are getting started. We are going to make our Christmas ornament for the ornament challenge. And I've decided I want to make little baseball bats. So I have an oak pen blank and I'm going to divide it basically in thirds. This is going to be the bat end, this is going to be the taper, and this is going to be uh, basically the handle grip. And I've done this before on a larger scale. And what I figured out is you divide the blank basically into thirds. A third for the ball hitting surface, a third for the taper, and a third for this. And then I'm going to make this as large a diameter as I can, and then make this half the diameter. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my parting tool out. And mark this. Uh, we'll be running at a fairly fast speed when we do this project. Um, that'll be okay. You can see where I've got it marked. So that'll give me my references. Uh, I'm going to get out a basic bowl gouge. That's way too high way too high. Once again when you're turning you want the center of the gouge at the center of the wood project. That's better. Almost there, you can see it's still. Oh no, it's not even close. Mark that so I can work on the taper. on this a little bit more.
Okay, so one thing you want is this to be parallel, and this to be parallel, and this to be tapered. We get a little bump here, and that little bump right there. Now I'm going to work on the nub down here. pretty darn good. I'm going to use my skew and scrape it just a tiny bit. Ash does a really good job of scraping. Those are just super tiny whispers. Now a little sandpaper, and I'm gonna finish that up. So I just got out my sandpaper. I've got some of this Merca Abranet, and I was able to just well, have this out of the way. Sand it down really quick. This oak sands super easy. Looks good. I need to do a tiny bit of work on this end. I just want it a little bit more round. And I can do that quick. Um, not getting my tools in next to the metal just because I don't really feel like it. But I need to work on this end a tiny bit. I know it's kind of hard to do it with the camera on. It's hard for me to get in here, but I'd rather show you guys compared to... Slow this down, get in here and part this off. I want to sand it just a tiny bit more. But that's about all there is to it. Pretty fun little simple project. I'm going to hang these on the tree as ornaments. Because we have somebody in our family who's really into baseball. I do want to stop and go end to end like this just a little bit just in case there's any scratches um, but I'll be able to just take that off and part it off and trim it with the skew chisel a chisel and then um, just sand it a little bit so I'm going to run through the grits here. Now 
All right, let's bring the speed way down. Let's see if we can part this off. Although I do actually think. There we go. All right, so I've got a little bit of an end there to deal with, and then this came off. So we'll just get the sander out, sand them down just a tiny bit. Other than that, that's kind of fun. About five and a half, five inches long. All right, we're just about done with this. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, you can see on the end here, I just sanded it down. And then on the end here, I sanded it down and I did leave a little dimple in it. I decided uh, that'll make people curious when they see it, what it was there for. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of Mike Mahoney's walnut oil on it, which is a great product. If you don't use it, you need to look it up. And if you don't know Mike Mahoney, you need to look him up too. He's a amazing professional turner out of california used to used to live in logan somebody i'd call a friend i've met him a number of times so i'm at the utah wood turning symposium enjoyed talking to him a lot well anyway there is my ornament for the ornament challenge so there is my Christmas ornament for the ornament challenge. I'm going to put a little either a hook on it there or a little bit of ribbon around it and hang it on the tree. So thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, tell your mom. All right. Well, there you can see my little ornament hanging in the tree. Looks great.